Hey everyone, I'm stepping out my door here and I'm going to give you a view from our outside. We're working on our patio, but I want to show you some of the flowers today and just some of the pretty things happening right now. Um, as the nights are getting cooler, the flowers really bring on a really pretty colors out in the landscape and I just want to share them with you before the weather changes here in the Midwest. Okay, so there's my pond view and as you see the mounds of dirt here, we're doing some remodeling. But outside of that, I'm going to take you over there to some of the beds, and they're just beautiful. Some of these flowers, I am, will be collecting some seeds from also, so I'm going to be sharing that with you. So let's get going. Here in front of you is the Evolution Salvia. Now, I have grown this one for years, and in mass plantings, it is so attractive. This thing can tolerate some crazy heat sun all day pretty much and just look at the blooms on it right now i am going to try to sell save some seeds from this one but i am not sure i've never seen them sell seed so i don't know if the seeds will be good we'll see but this is something i want to try but look at this let's get you a close-up again this is the evolution salvi salvia it's just one of my favorite plants for a full sun area. The bees, the pollinators just love this plant. And during the day it's just full of full of them. Isn't that attractive? That's one of the flowers I wanted to share with you. The next one is the New Look Slosha. This one I've grown for years. Um, I'm also collecting seeds from this one so they may be available later. How attractive is the are these flowers? The leaves kind of start out green and then they turn to a burgundish that match the plumes, the burgundish reddish plumes so well. I mean, this plant is in the sun pretty much of the day also and it is thriving out here. I just love it. It's only about a foot tall, maybe a little bigger. And it's just one of these that I just love. I planted it in mass plantings. I love to plant that way. And I always save some for me because these are a special one. Right here, this one is such a sunny flower. It's a zinnia. It's in the Profusion series. And it's a very attractive, long-blooming, all-summer blooming plant. And it's a good cut flower also. But I love these plant, these flowers here because the butterflies love, love them and they are attracted to them. Painted Lady Butterfly really, really likes these zinnias. Having them in apricot, yellow, and then down here is the cherry of that series. And they're just gorgeous, aren't they? One of my favorite grasses is the Rubum Red Fountain Grass. Doesn't winter here, but I don't care. It is one of the most attractive grasses here in my landscape. Look at the big one over here. This one's in a container, a big pot, but there's several in there. And it just really, really puts on a show, especially when the wind is blowing a little bit and the sun's on it in the right direction. It's just a gorgeous plant. And the blades are burgundy in color, and the, they can handle the heat really well. So I really love this grass. I wish they wintered, but they do not here. The next one here, is, look at these grasses. And I put these in pots with the petunias. Some of the petunias that came back. This grass here is a Penicetum ruby mountain grass. I grew it last year. I Actually, these come from plugs. I do not know if the seed is viable on these. But, you know, just for fun, I may try to save a little bit and to see. But it's, it's a very attractive green grass. But the plumes are what really put out a statement here, as you can see. Just watch them for a minute. And they've got kind of a pinkish color to them. Do really good in heat. They've been doing really well in our weather and sun. They get sun most of the day. And they just are very, very attractive. This one is a real favorite of mine, and it's kind of a nice aggressive vine, but not overly aggressive. Look at all the seed pods on that. So this is a hyacinth bean vine, and it is really doing very well in our weather right now. Check out all the seed pods coming. I am going to have a lot of seeds from this if they come on before our frost. 
So look at the beautiful flower. Just check that out. That is just gorgeous. It really, really is. Uh, they are heart-shaped leaves, purple veining, and just very attractive for a vine. I really can't say enough about this one. Let's get back here and let me show it to you a little bit more from a different angle. I have them on my panel fence and they're really covering it quite well. And I, I don't remember how many plants there, maybe four plants. And I don't think they'll reach all the way to the other side, but gosh, wouldn't it be nice if they did. But there's going to be plenty of seed here the way it looks. And to get them seed to come on, I might water this plant a little bit to get them to mature a little faster. So I have seeds to share. And you know, that's always a wonderful thing, isn't it? I was quite impressed with this Joseph's coat this year. Um, they are turning as I speak. Then the color is becoming deeper and yellow all the time, and I think it's just getting toward the end. But this is a tricolored uh, Joseph's coat. Beautiful. I would plant these again. They do get some height to them, but man, are they great. They, when they first start out, they're more on the green side, and then they change as they age. And, you know, they're just gorgeous in the gardens here. They uh, tolerate some pretty good heat also. And I've been, you know, watching these as they turn. And we're in August now, and they're just changing colors all the time. So it's one thing. Now, now's the time I should be looking for seeds. And they would be right. Looks like there might be some right in there. So I'll be checking on that also. But yeah, it's just wonderful. Very impressed. Very impressed with this plant. Oh, this is funny because here's a plant that I am not sure how it got here. It's either, it, I might have had some pots here at one time and it's seeded here. Because I didn't plant this big humongous guy here. I did not plant it here, but it just appeared. Either seeded or one of the plants got stuck in the ground and it just went to town. It's just doing really, really well. It's just beautiful in this spot right here. This is a plant you guys want. If you want something with some color um, several weeks in the summer, this is a good one. This is Rutabecchia, a black-eyed Susan plant. So it's very sunny, very showy, and it's a good cut flower also. But it's also one that, you know, just looks good. I mean, once it starts blooming and it stays looking good for quite some time. Isn't she pretty? Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour. It's just my gardens are, I wanted to get a little bit on film before things are all said and done. And I love sharing in either vegetable garden or flower garden. I just love sharing. I plant a lot of flowers because it brings a lot of pollinators here to the garden. And this stuff just puts a smile on your face. I mean, this stuff is just so, so, so pretty. I mean, I, I come out here and I'm just, you know, it can be some, you know, maintenance. Trying to keep the weeds down and sometimes having to water, but you know what? This is what I do this for. I love it. I enjoy it. And it's just, I love to share. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, plant yourself some flowers if you want to draw more pollinators uh, to your garden. And there's nothing wrong with flowers. And a lot of these aren't edible, but they still serve their purpose. They are bringing many, many beneficials. And we have a cat fight <laughs> once again. Um, but I just wanted to kind of share that with you and to show you that, you know, having flowers really adds to your garden and I think that you will really appreciate them. Oh, I need to show you my petunias. Okay, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed my little flower tour. I got a lot of other flowers, but some are kind of getting done. And these are the ones that are really showing off yet. So if you love this video, please rate it comment send me your comments and questions down below and we'll talk to you soon I'll be bringing out videos regularly and I really enjoy talking to you fellow gardeners people that are been in gardening for years and then those of you that are new that are just learning to garden so we'll see you next time and take care